Uh, uh, Professor, good evening and thanks for your time. How do we know this? What's been happening out there that brings us uh, to this conclusion that these antiviral drugs might become ineffective, even the new ones? Good evening. So the World Health Organization has collated data from several countries and has undertaken studies in several countries throughout the world. And what they have been looking at is resistance to one particular class of antiretrovirals. Now remember in antiretrovirals we have about 30 different drugs available and they come in about four or five different classes of drugs. So one particular class of drugs, the drugs that we have been using for quite a long time, in fact, we started using these drugs known as neverapine and efavirenz mm. for mother-to-child transmission many, many years. It's almost like two decades ago. And so what has happened is that over time, high levels of resistance to those two drugs have been occurring. So when they did the survey and they looked at patients who were newly diagnosed with HIV and hadn't started treatment yet, they found that up to about 20 to 25 percent of uh, patients who haven't taken any drugs yet were resistant to these two drugs. And that's what the big concern is and that's what the results show. Okay, so just to clarify, it's not all antiretroviral drugs then, it is just that class of drugs. So do we have substitutes for these then? Do we have a solution to that problem? Yes, so we've actually known this for quite a while. So it's not like, you know, this is dramatically new information. We have been monitoring resistance to these drugs over many years. And so the World Health Organization I chair its scientific advisory committee, reviewed this data about three to four years ago and made a decision uh, that we need to relook at what first-line drugs we are using. And so out of that came a new suggestion or a new guideline of what should be the standard first-line set of drugs. Previously, these two drugs were in all of the first-line options. Now, in the new recommendations from the World Health Organization, those two drugs have been dropped. And instead, a whole new class of drugs called INSTEs for short, they are integrase strand inhibitors. These drugs are very potent and they, it's hard to get resistance to them. And the particular drug that the World Health Organization is recommending that we include in our first-line drug choice to replace efavirenz and neverapine is a drug called dolutegravir. And dolutegravir is now the recommended component of the first line dropping neverapine and uh, efavirenz. So essentially, the WHO has been one step ahead of these data, and South Africa actually adopted the use of dolutegravir uh, more than a year ago. Uh, the problem has been that there were some data that suggested that there may be a safety issue with dolutegravir, but that was cleared up in recent data presented in Mexico about two weeks ago. So we now know that dolutegravir is a safe drug, and so it is the best option to go with in our first line, and South Africa has already adopted that, and we will start seeing the dolutegravir-based first-line drugs now become standard in South Africa. All right, Prof. And, and was it like starting from scratch for these patients? Did they go back to sort of point zero, or were they still okay enough? Were, were they still at least a little more resist, uh, more, uh, were, were their systems able to fight uh, the virus still uh, uh, without this, this drug, and, and now this has just pushed them a little further on? So one of the issues is that uh, because uh, resistance to these drugs is quite widespread, we've been using them anyway, and they have generally remained effective because when we treat patients for HIV, we treat them with several drugs at the same time. Ideally, we would like them to be sensitive to all three drugs, and so that's why this change is being made. 
But up to now, patients have not been seriously compromised. However, we didn't want that to happen going forward. Mm -hmm. It must be noted also that efavirenz is a drug that causes drowsiness and it causes nightmares. In fact, efavirenz is an essential component of a drug concoction widely used mm. uh, called Wunga. And this drug, efavirenz, is uh, widely used for that reason. And so the plan now is to remove that drug from our uh, first-line options, in which case it will not become available anymore, including its availability for use in Wunga. Okay. So it will have a sort of uh, an additional benefit this change that we are making away from nevirapine and efavirenz to dolutegravir. So it's, and it's a, I can confidently say that the data we have seen show that this combination is really good. All right, thanks very much. We look forward to further updates on the progress uh, of that. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Salim Abdul-Karim there.